Of the seven species of sea turtles living in the world, five are recorded from the Sri Lankan coastal belt. This includes the green turtle, olive ridley, hawksbill, loggerhead, and leatherback species, and the green and olive ridley sea turtles are major species that nest in Sri Lankan coasts. The wild tube today is about an incident of an olive ridley sea turtle that had gotten entangled in a fishing net. Healthy olive ridley sea turtles don't often come to shore, aside from nesting season when females gather on beaches to lay their eggs. Otherwise, olive ridleys may spend nearly their entire lives at sea, unless something goes wrong, if they are injured, sick, hypothermic, or a combination thereof. <laughs> Since the Sri Lankan coast is highly populated and fishing activities are also abundant, human influence on coasting turtles is a significant issue for their survival. Illegal poaching for eggs, shells, and trapping in fish nets are some of the major threats faced by these poor creatures. This turtle is endangered because the population depends on the security of a small number of beaches found in the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic oceans. They have been heavily hunted in the past for their meat and hide. The smallest of the sea turtles and one of the two species of Ridley turtle, the Olive Ridley, reaches a maximum size of 65 centimeters and weighs 35 to 45 kilograms. It is named after its olive rust-colored shell. Female Olive Ridley turtles return to the same beach from where they hatch to lay their eggs. They lay their eggs in conical nests about one and a half feet deep which they laboriously dig with their hind flippers, depositing more than 150 eggs at one time. They are omnivores eating crustaceans, fish, and some marine vegetation. Like other sea turtles, they migrate long distances between feeding grounds and the beaches from where they hatched. Classified as endangered, green turtles are threatened by over-harvesting of their eggs, hunting of adults, being caught in fishing gear, and loss of nesting beach sites.
Unfortunately, this turtle had not suffered significant fractures on its shell, nor deep cuts in its body. However, injuries to the head and cuts in its limbs were observed. The officers, including a veterinarian from the Department of Wildlife and Conservation, had attended to treat this sick turtle. One of the critical problems they were facing was getting this turtle to eat. Since this turtle is sick, he is refusing any food. Therefore, the veterinary team decided to provide some fluids for him to survive. Also, they cleaned and dressed the wounds. Necessary medicine, including antibiotics, were given to prevent any infections. is fortunate to get timely veterinary care, but for some, this is not the case. Even though the Sri Lankan government has imposed rules when using fishnets to prevent such incidents, in some instances, even with those nets, these unfortunate events are inevitable. Okay, 